book up why did it need to sit adventures that wait for you live and learn that laugh and play whatever you dream comes true you could swim along the river all the way to the sea you could fly up in the sky above the clouds and trees you could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon you could swing through the jungle all afternoon wherever our story takes us can't wait to see his friends come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello, everybody, and welcome to online story time at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy. And we are delighted and excited and happy that you're with us today. Did you hear all those words? All those words mean, kind of mean the same thing. Isn't that great that you can have lots of words meaning the same thing? I know, for a positive thing. That's right, that's yeah. right. Hey, everybody, should we sing together to wake up a little bit? Let's do it. All right, you got your clappers ready? Clapping your hands, your elbows, whatever you're clapping. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. That was delightful. It just makes me ready to go. All right. Hey, and speaking of being ready to go, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> this is kind of silly. Okay. But it's something I really find amazing. It's a creature. Oh, a creature that lives... Sometimes in the water, sometimes on land. Wow. Yeah. Must be people. No, people not don't people. live in the water, no. Tracy. Do you have claws? Do you have pictures? I can pretend. Do you live in a shell? No, I don't. Well, these guys do. This is a crab. This is a hermit crab. Oh my goodness. Pitcher, pitcher, and see his pitcher. pictures? What do you think he uses those for, Miss Tracy? I would think he probably uses those to get his food. I think he catches his food with those. Yeah, those are like his little utensils. He uses those. And look at all these funny little feet he's oh got. Oh my goodness. Could he also use his pictures to protect himself? I think to protect himself, to catch his food, and maybe to keep other animals from trying to eat him. Yeah. I think that's probably true. Have you ever seen a crab like this move, Teacher Missy? Yes. Storytime friends, crabs don't move forwards and backwards like we do. Crabs move sideways. And it's very funny to watch they them. Move, and they change direction and go the other way. And they live in something very interesting. What do they live in? They live in shells. Oh my goodness. Do they have their own shell they all the time? They do not have their own shell. They search the ocean floor for shells that have been abandoned by other animals. Oh. And they find one that fits them. Wow. I know. It's really cool. It's kind of like house hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if some crabs prefer some colors over others. I don't know. I don't know much about crab psychology. I don't know much about crab psychology either. <laughs> but do you have any good books about crabs? Oh, of course I do. Hey, Miss Tracy, look what I've got. Is that a crab on the front of that book? It is, and it's an actual photograph. Wow. This is not an illustration. Remember, that's a picture somebody draws. This is a picture, an actual photograph of, what do you think it is? I think it's a hermit crab. It is a hermit crab. And look at how interesting he looks. You can see that he's got a shell on the back and his funny little legs. And he's got like little antennas here. I wonder what he uses those for. Hmm, I'm not sure. And what do we see here? A big shell. Do you think he's, is that his house? That could be his house. And this is called, I Love My Pet Hermit Crab. And it comes to us from AV2. I love my pet hermit. You, you, you can have them for a pet. Did you know that? Oh, I know people who have had hermit crabs. 
Well, I used to know some people that had a great big tank in their house that had hermit crabs, and it was like a little community. Wow. They had all their little water dishes for them and rocks for them to climb on and lots of green stuff in there. It was very cool in there. I love my pet hermit crab. Okay, well, let's find out about this pet hermit crab. I love my pet hermit crab. I take good care of him. This is a great picture, boys and girls. Look, you can see him sticking out of that shell. And when he gets too big for that shell, if he keeps growing, then he moves out and finds another shell. My pet hermit crab hatched from an egg. He was born in the water. Hmm. Look at all these eggs. They look like blueberries. Hmm. I bet they're all going to be little hermit crabs. That's a lot of little crabs. That's a lot of babies. Oh, and look what they look like when they're little. My pet hermit crab was small when I took him home. He was only the size of a marble. That's not very big, that's about like that. Adult hermit crabs can be as large as a baseball. Wow, they do a lot of growing. My pet hermit crab grows every year and he must find a new shell when he gets too big. Some hermit crabs cover their bodies in sand while well, they grow. Hmm. There he is, trying to find a, a new place to live. My pet hermit crab eats many different foods. I make sure he always has food in his tank. I wonder what they eat. Do you know, Miss Tracy, what I they eat? I do not know what they eat. I don't either. My hermit crab needs fresh water and salt water. It is my job to keep his water clean. Hmm. Where do we find salt water? I think we find it in the ocean. We do find it in the ocean. Is there salt water in our lakes? No. No, our lakes are fresh water. That is the difference. One has salt and one does not. I help keep my pet hermit crab healthy and happy. I love my pet hermit crab. And that is what this book was about. And I, wouldn't it be fun to have one? Hey, Teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Would you like to play a game with our story time friends? Well, I love to do that. That's awesome. Okay, story time friends, on our flannel board today, we have four shells. We have an orange shell, a purple shell, a green shell, and this is really a dark blue shell. It may look black, but it is dark blue, so we're going to call that a blue shell. And in my hand, I have my friend, the little crab, Oh, oh, he doesn't move that way though. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. See, he runs like that. Okay. All right, so we are going to hide the crab and we're going to have to find the crab. So right now, I'd like you to close your eyes. Close them tight. Close them tight. Okay, open your eyes. Are you ready? It's time for us to find the crab. And we have a poem that we're going to say to help us find the crab. And it goes like this. It says, little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the orange shell? Let's look inside. How many people think you might be in the orange shell? Nope, he's not there, no crab. Let's find another one. Little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the blue shell? Let's look inside. I bet he's there. I bet you he's hiding right there. Oh. Well, he 
he's not there either. I wonder which shell he picked. Hmm. Let's try again. Can you guys say the poem with me now? Little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the purple shell? Let's look inside. <gasps> there he is! He is there! She picked the purple shell. All right, let's put our shells back up. I'm going to kind of mix up their order here. Okay, are you ready? We're going to hide him again. Close your eyes. Close them tight. Go peek. Really, really tight. No peeking. Okay, you can open them now. Here we go. Little, little crab, crab, little crab, crab where, where do you hide? Are you in the, the green shell? Green. Hmm. Let's look inside. That would be a good one. There, oh, there he isn't. Okay, all right, let's, let's try another one. Little crab, little, little crab, crab, where, where do, do you hide? Are you in the purple shell? That's where he was last time. I wonder, would he trick us? Let's look inside. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, he's not there either. Little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the orange shell? Let's look inside. I think so. Maybe our little crab left. Okay, mm. all right, you're right, you're right. We have one more shell to look under. Here we go. Little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the blue shell? Let's look inside. Ready? One, two, <gasps> there he is! He did oh, it, little crab, you were so tricky. All right, do you wanna play one more time, friends? Okay, close your eyes tight. Close them really, really tight. Are your eyes still closed? No I peeking. hope so. Okay. I wonder where little crab is Ooh, hiding now. I don't know. He's pretty tricky though. He is. Here we go. Little crab. Little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the blue shell? Let's look inside. Let's look inside. <gasps> okay. No crab. What should we look under next? Okay, green. Let's do green. Here we go. Little crab, little crab, where do you hide? Are you in the green shell? Let's look inside. <gasps> and oh! he was! That was a great <laughs> guess. Oh my goodness. Hey friends, thanks for helping us find the shell that held our crab. Miss Tracy, I have another book for us this morning. I can't wait. Oh, I love this story. This is a really fun story. And if you take a good look, boys and girls, at the picture, you can see that there is a crab under here. But what is he holding? What do you think that great big thing is? Yeah, it's a cake. A crab with a cake? Crab cake is the name of my story. Written and illustrated by Andrea Sumuri. And this comes to us from Houghton Mifflin. And I... I can hardly wait to see why he's holding that cake. Why, why, why would he be holding a cake, do you think? Let's find out. Under the sea where the sunlight touches sand lies a place that's home to many incredible creatures. Clonefish hide in the stinging anemone. Manta rays get cleaned. Tangs swim in schools. Look at these big groups. That's called a school when a bunch of fish live together. Isn't that a funny word? I wonder if that's where we get school because kids come together. Maybe. Sea turtle holds her breath and scallop does loop-de-loops. I didn't know they did that. Wasn't that fun? 
And Crab bakes cakes. Look at his beautiful cakes. Seahorses pretend to be seaweed. Spiny lobsters look for a new home. Parrotfish crunch coral in the poop sand. Dolphins blow bubble rings. Toadfish sing. Pufferfish puff up. You know why they do that? They puff themselves up to look big so that other fish will leave them alone. Octopus hides in a coconut? Mora eel pops out of her cave. Oh, she jumped out and grabbed this guy. Ooh, surprise, surprise. And crab bakes cakes. Look at all the cakes he's baked. All kinds of cakes. And he's got a whole shell tray filled with cakes. Snapper eats and eats and eats and eats. And here is a hermit crab right here saying to the baby, well, where did you leave it? Can't find his shell. <laughs> the venomous lionfish does whatever she pleases. And crab, well, crab makes cakes. Look at crab with his cake right here. Look at the fish start small and they get a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and really big. So life goes on under the sea. And look at what is the crab doing? Is that cake batter? That's what I think. Until one night, there's a big splash. Looks like a boat with a bunch of junk. Hmm. Making a splash. <gasps> Miss Tracy, I think all that junk is falling into the ocean. Oh no, it looks just like garbage. I think it is garbage. Who just, would throw garbage in the ocean? I don't know, what are they thinking? Oh my, look at this mess. All kinds of garbage and broken things dumped into the ocean. Look at that sad picture. Very sad. Look at the poor animals, look at the fish, and the turtle, and the crab. Their eyes are big, they look scared. Somebody has dumped a bunch of garbage into their house, really. Parrotfish freezes. Snapper freezes. Shark freezes. Pufferfish freezes. Clownfish freezes. Spiny lobster freezes. Seahorse freeze. Octopus. Sea turtle freeze. Dolphin freezes. Manta ray freezes. Even the lionfish Right on top of you, right into your home where you live. And crab? Mm. There's crab. There's his eyes. There he is. Oh! What's he doing? I think he's making... Is he making... He is! Crab bakes a cake. There he is with his cake. And look at all the garbage on the ocean floor. What's going on? Shh! Did Crab just bake a cake? Hide. Well, for how long? I don't know. Crab did. Crab baked a cake. The little fish said, can I have some? Oh, sure. Said Crab. <laughs> May I? said the turtle. Well, of course. 
Can I have the part with, with the shell? Of course. Finally, everybody comes together. Ugh, it's everywhere. I was scared. It was loud. That was awful. What now? Whoo, you're okay. Glad we're all here. Boo. Thanks, crab. We have to help our kelp. Well, what do we do now? Oh, this cake is good. We've got a lot of thinking to do. All right. Anyone have any ideas? They're all looking around, looking at each other, trying to figure out. What are they trying to figure out, do you suppose? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Probably a way to get rid of the garbage or what to do with the garbage. Well, lobster lifts, snapper shoves. Look at, they're getting some of the stuff. Clownfish rolls, turtles tow, manta rays move, octopus inks, sharks carry, dolphins drag, clams encourage, and sea lions lug. Look at, they're taking a lot of that stuff out, aren't they? wonder where they're going to put it. Everybody helps and look where they put it. <laughs> Come and get your junk, said the sign. Very good thinking. Come and get your junk. And that's just what they should do. Should they have left all that stuff there? No, they should not have. Under the sea where sunlight still touches sand, Incredible creatures go on swimming, playing, and doing what they do. And what do you think Crab does? I don't think there's a page on that, but oh, yes, there is. Especially Crab. What is he doing again? Right, baking a cake. He can come and bake for me. I would like that. Cakes. All right. Hey, story time, friends. Hey, teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Let's do a little oh, shaking today. Shake, shake, shake. So out of your story time kit, I'd like you to find your shaker egg. Because we're going to do some singing and some shaking and some singing and some shaking. And if you don't have your story time kit, come on down to the library. I had a couple of story time friends just pick theirs up this week. It's very exciting. And if you don't have your shaker, you can shake whatever you have. I'm gonna hand this to teacher Missy. It's an envelope with some dried peas in it. Ooh, that makes a great sound. It does, oh, excuse me? Oh, absolutely. Story time friends. Monkey would like to be our friend today. Good morning, Monkey. Good morning, Teacher Missy. I'm delighted to see you. Well, it's so good to see you. I'm delighted to say the word delighted. It delights me. It's a delightful word. It truly is. Okay, Monkey's going to stay right there. And before we sing our crab shaker song, we're going to sing a warm-up shaker song. And you guys may remember this, but this is the one you have to do lots of different shaker actions. So grab your shaker and here we go. This is called Shake Your Shakers. Are you ready? Shake your shakers in the air. Shake it here, shake it there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shakers. Shake it high and shake it low. Shake it yes, shake it no, shake it high and shake it low, shake your shakers. Shake it up and shake it down, shake your shakers on the ground. Shake it up and shake it down, shake your shakers. Shake it near and shake it far. 
Drive your shaker like a car. Shake it near and shake it far. Shake your shakers. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake it stop. Shake it go. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake your shakers. Oh, that's such a tricky part of the song. Yep. Okay, now that we've done just about every movement the shaker can make, we are going to sing a shaker crab song. And this is called, We're Little Orange Crabs. So, are you ready? Okay. I'm feeling like a crab. Teacher Missy, are you feeling like a crab? I'm crabbing it. All right, here we go, story time, friends. We're little orange crabs who live down by the sea. And where we do go, we're quick as quick as quick can be. We're little orange crabs who like to run and hide. And when the sea you walking by, it's always side to side. Okay, we're going to have to do that one one more time. That's a tricky song. Here we go. We're little orange crabs who live down by the sea. And where we do go, we're as quick as quick can be. We're little orange crabs who like to run and hide. And when you see us walking by, it's always side to side. Yay! Hey, thanks for shaking with us. Oh, teacher Missy, I had no idea crabs could be this fun. They are super fun. They are amazing creatures. And they walk from side to side. Don't you love that? So I, now when I walk sideways, that you're just doing the crab I, I'm walk. I'm just doing the crab walk. That's right. And I learned that a hermit crab finds an empty shell to live in. And that's his house. That's crazy stuff. Oh, and story time, friends. We had so much fun finding out where the crab was hiding. Thanks for your help with that. And I was so amazed at what all the fish decided to do. I guess when you get garbage dumped on you, you just give it back. You just give it right back. All right, so story time, friends. Sadly, I think it's time for us to leave, and we have to say goodbye to you. Would you sing with us? All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Bye, everybody. Take a step sideways.